I'm professional photographer and photography instructor, Nick Carver. The following video presentation is a free sample from my macro and close-up photography online course. This is just one of eight video presentations on this course, totaling 70 minutes in all. This course also includes six in-depth weekly lesson guides, one of which can be downloaded for free on my website. So if you like what you see here, remember that this is just a tiny sample of what's included in the entire course. So for more information about this course and to download more free online course samples, please visit my website at nickcarverphotography.com slash online courses. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Hi folks, welcome back for your next video presentation. We're in week five here and this video is about how to use a reflector. Now I've got a nice shot set up right here where I'm photographing a burnt match. Now a burnt match is one of those things where at first glance you'd think oh, there ain't much to shoot there. But with enough magnification, uh, you can blow that thing up so big that it actually shows a lot of interesting uh, nooks and crannies and, and textures to it, enough to really warrant a photo. Uh, now, you have to get real high magnification for it to, to be able to actually show up, though, because that's a very small item, a, a burnt match. So I have a reversed 28 millimeter lens on top of a pretty big extension tube. So that's making it possible for me to nearly fill the frame with that match head. That's a very tricky combination to use. You can't focus. You have to focus literally by moving the camera. So I took the time beforehand to really fine tune the focus and get the, the distances just right. But I'm set up next to a big open window here in my office. And uh, if you hear any traffic noise going by, that's why. Uh, but this nice big window, as we learned in the weekly lesson guide, is one of the best indoor light sources you'll ever really come across. It's a real big soft light source, uh, creates nice shadows that aren't too strong for the sensor to handle. So I think that's going to be just the right spot for uh, photographing this match. Now I'm also using a uh, cable release because at this high of a magnification, the tiniest bit of camera shake is going to ruin the shot. And that's why I'm also on mirror lockup. So first thing I want to do is take this shot uh, without the reflector and you're going to see how much darkness we're getting on the shadowed side of this match. Uh, so much shadow that it's kind of hiding a lot of the interesting details there. And then I'm going to bring the reflector in and lighten up those shadows so you can see how to use a reflector. But first thing I got to do is turn off these studio lights that I'm using to film this video. So let me turn those off real quick and then we'll come back and give the reflector a try. All right, so we're back in position here. I have all the lights in the room turned off, and that's because I don't want any of the interior lights fighting with the outdoor light coming in through the window. And first thing I want to do is take this shot without a reflector, um, because I want you to see how dark the shadows are on this thing. So I'm going to click once, and that's going to lock up the mirror. All right, there we go. And I'm going to click again to trigger the shutter, but I'm just going to give it a couple of seconds to subside, the vibrations to subside. So I'm good now. I'll click. All right, and you can hear that was a pretty long exposure. I'm at one and a third seconds, 1.3 seconds. And that is required because this extension tube and this reverse lens are eating up so much light that I need a really long exposure just to get enough light in. But since my camera's nice and still, it's no problem. Uh, so that's the shot without the uh, reflector. And as you can see, there are real dark shadows on one side of it. You lose a lot of detail and the match basically blends in with the table underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a reflector and I'm using the silver side of this reflector because I don't want to add any sort of uh, color cast with the gold side. And uh, the white side of the reflector is going to be a little bit too weak. So this silver side is going to be just right. And using it's pretty simple. I just bring it in opposite the light source and I start angling it watching how the light is filling in those shadows and you can actually see it move around quite a bit and fill in those shadows nicely so once i get into a good position is where it helps to have an extra hand but i don't right now all right so i have the reflector in position now i'm going to do the same exposure i'm going to click once to trigger the mirror and then again to trigger the shutter all right there we go so now that shot has a reflector bouncing light into the shadows and you can see that you get much more detail in that shadowed side and you can see a lot more texture. So that just, you know, 22 inch reflector is a 
you know, $30, $40 item made the world a difference for a uh, shadow that had no detail and a shadow that had a lot of detail. So a very useful item to have. So head on back to your weekly lesson guide, finish up the assignment there, send it in via email as always. And if you have any questions, uh, always drop me a line at nc at nickcarverphotography.com and I'll be happy to help you out.